Hi, welcome to Dickie Thomas's Online Theater. I'm Dickie Thomas. Today, my tip is how to make a real smooth cup of coffee. How do I do it? It's nuts. No, really, it's nuts. Stay tuned. Making a great cup of coffee requires four basic elements. Number one, two coffee filters. Number two, almonds. Number three, your favorite coffee and water. It's that simple. So you take two almonds, one at a time, and I crush them. One at a time. It's easier to crush one at a time. It'll crack like that. Dump it right at the bottom of the filter. One after another. You can use four almonds if you like, or almonds. That's the way you're supposed to pronounce it. You can use two or four almonds if you like. The more you make, the happier the almond growers are. And you take a double, a two tablespoon measuring cup of your favorite coffee. Place that coffee at, on top of the almonds. You take the second filter and you place it on top of that. The reason I do that is when that top filter gets wet, it will press down against that coffee and keep it from floating to the top. Now if you don't do that and use the almonds, the almonds will help the coffee float to the top and if you have, um, when, the, when the water is pouring down into this, it will overflow the edge of the filter and you'll get grounds in your coffee and that will not be a pleasant experience. Now you place your filter with the coffee in the bottom of the filter into your coffee filter holder on your coffee maker. Press it down there nice and snug. You don't have to press it down too far. Now someone asked me why do you have two filters? The reason we have two filters, or I use two filters, is the top filter when it gets wet will hold the coffee down inside that filter instead of uh, the, the coffee floating to the top and if you have that nut at the bottom of the of the coffee it will float, it will come up to the top and it will float and it will spill over the top of that filter and get grounds in your coffee and that's not real real good coffee uh, it's kind of gritty so doing that press it down there close this up close the lid make sure there's water in the tank turn it on and you just wait for coffee you can now, now you can make your toast I have toast and honey in the morning. Some people have oatmeal, um, whatever you desire. But you'll have some great tasting coffee, real smooth coffee when it's all done. 